Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you the performance and best settings for Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on the Steam Deck. So, I'll play a level from one, play one level from each three games, and I'll show you the best settings. Okay. So, for the first game, I'll just play in 30 frames per second mode. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the first level in each game. Doesn't really matter. I've tested it on multiple different levels, but they're always like quick levels. The first one in each game, so I'm just gonna stick with that. And here we go. Okay. So right now I've got it in the best setting for 60 frames per second. I'll get back to that and I'll start that from Crash Bandicoot 2. But let me show you the best setting for 30 frames per second. And it is just maxing it out. So if you just go here, put it on ultra, preset, and then max it out everything. And the problem is, if you do this, you don't quite get 60. So, you know, we can't play, uh, if I'm being honest, you still get a smooth, you know, gameplay. So what I would recommend, if you want to do it on high, is literally go into here and cap this at 45. And you'll get a pretty nice smooth 45. You probably won't really get too many dips at all. So, so, so this is, you know, one way that you could you go about playing it. It's maxed out and you're still getting a smooth, you know, experience. And yes, yeah, so that's fine. So I will probably just stick with playing it like this. But, you know, we can just cap it. And if you go to system options, you can cap it in-game or you can cap it using the system, the Steam settings. And this actually has in-game, you know, capping. So uh, let me just... Go back to 60. Somebody doesn't seem to want to cap it, so we'll just use the built in mode here. Okay, so that's now capped. Can't believe, can't believe this is how we used to play games back in the day. So yeah, I'll play the first level of the first game at 30 frames per second. Ooh. I know I've missed their box, and I will go back and grab the English Ah, I messed up there. That was terrible. I'm not even gonna bother attempting grabbing all the. You know what? I'm gonna try and attempt all the boxes still. Obviously, I don't have the triple aku aku, so I'll have to do it with the manual jump mode, which is always so annoying. You either don't jump enough or you end up jumping too much. Ooh, I don't know. Oh my god. Yes. And oh, there's another turtle over here. Oh, missing four boxes. I know there's one straight ahead. I'm just trying to think where the four boxes that we're missing are. Or three boxes, I should say. That's strange. Did I miss some boxes? Down here. I'm sure I didn't. That's strange. Yeah, I'll just complete the level. Yeah, I don't know where all the missing boxes are. So as you can see, five frames per second, no issue. You know you can max out the settings and you will get a smooth experience. Move for 30, that is. 
And if that's the route you want to go down. But like I said, if you want to max it out, just stick it to 45. Can't quite always hit 50. So if you stick it to 45, you'll get a smooth 45. You'll feel smooth, but you'll have it maxed out. That's my recommendation. Either go the 60 frames second route, which I'm going to show you now on the last two games. Or the 45 frames per second route and just max it out. I wanted to show you 30 because some people just want, you know, 30 or 60. Okay, so that's fine. Let me switch over to Crash Bandicoot 2 and Crash Bandicoot 3 as well and show you it working at 30, I mean, at 60 frames per second and the best settings for that. Okay, so first of all, let's just change the settings, go to graphics, and what you want to do, change the preset to high, that's it, that's all you got to do. And if I change the settings in here, to 60, and it's a lot smoother, we'll get 60 frames a second constantly. I mean, you may potentially get a dip down to like 58 or something, but it's negligible. Obviously, you got a dip there because that's loading. But in game, I mean, it just feels so smooth. A nice black for me, not, you know, collecting all the Wumper fruit, not, you know, breaking all the boxes, not getting all the Wumper fruit from the boxes, not doing the boxes properly, not the one that you have to bounce on. I oh, know, it's black for me, but I just want to quickly show you it start to finish. I don't know, is this the, I think, is it the first level where you do get a gem if you don't break any boxes as well? I can't remember. Well, there's a section where you have, you just, you just covered with boxes in front of you. Yeah, that's there. So yeah, this is the one where if you basically do that. Obviously, I've broken boxes previously in this level, so you won't work. But this is the level where you can get the other kind of gem by... Not breaking any boxes. I can't remember how I discovered that. I think I genuinely just discovered the act and ending. Yeah, I, I was. I did I discover it? For some reason, I went back and I played it. The, I mean, when I was a kid, I'm talking about. I went back and I played it. The level without destroying anything. I think I may have, you know, missed uh, the crystal. And as a result, I went back, played it, and I was blasted through it because I got the gem, I think, at that time. And I was like, oh, I've got a, an extra gem. And I was like, what's happened? And it's only later that I, I realized, I was like, oh, it's because I didn't break anything. Okay, so let me switch over to Crash Bandicoot 3 now and show you a level in that game. And again, same settings. Max out if you want 30 frames or if you want to go the 45 frames per second route. And high settings if you want to you know, have a smooth, silky 60 frames per second experience. Play the first level toad village i might even try and get the relic i think i'm gonna try and get the relic this time Ooh, let's see what we get yeah i need to run run crash run
What did I get? Oh, I don't think I caught I think platinum is the highest one. Come on, let me show you. Display time. Ah, yeah, uh, what was I? Oh, a couple of seconds off. Okay, yeah, so that's it. That's the recommended best setting of some gameplay of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And more videos are coming as well. Let me know in the comments what the Steam Deck videos you would like to see. I'm also going to do videos on how to set up emulators, how to install games that aren't off, you know, the Steam library like Origin, for example. So look, you know, stay tuned for them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.